Hello and welcome, Links here. We are playing Raising Angels Judgment. <sighs> Let's see if we can solve this problematic case. Or more like get out of this problematic case. Right, it will be tough, that's for sure. You waited for me! Call me impressed! Why wouldn't we? We don't know what lodging we will be staying at while this investigation goes on. Lodge! Like the temporary barracks? This is your home base, right? Do you all have homes to go back to instead? Indeed, but I was informed that we would be forced to stay in the temp barracks as we are being investigated. Eh, who told you that? That's never been a rule. Are you sure? Positive. If we would rather you not be in such a proximity so much, you could collaborate your stories for easier without leaving a trail of traceable calls for of, or constant visits. Makes it harder for to use surprise tactics. Not that I use those, but you get the idea. Could you double check? Don't believe me! After today, I don't know what to believe. Fair enough. If there were special controls orders on you, they'd be mentioned in the special notes block of my briefing. Nope. I don't have to board you up anywhere. You are free to go home as long as nude and I have your contact information you don't go outside the 20 mile radius of Megatron spaceport. First bright spot all day. I'll send a message to the rest of the crew to let them know they can just head home for the day. Faye will be happy that she won't be forced to pack. She barely had any of her stuff ready when I left. Well, this has been enough of the venture for me for one day. If you'll excuse me, I'll be heading home for the evening and calling you up for interviews starting tomorrow. I look forward to it. Good day. I guess I'll head home as well. Eh. What's wrong, man? Natalie, let me guess. You just now realized that you've never lived in Megator. Maybe. It's okay, you can stay with me! I don't want to. Fuck off, Zuri. Zuri, you told me that you sold your house because you never intended to come back here after you transferred to that new position. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that! I never thought about where I will be staying since so told us we will be staying in the barracks here. Commander Hackett, and don't blame me. I was just doing what I thought was right. You kept saying that it always seems to end up with me getting punished! I mean, it's you, so, like, nobody cares. <laughs> Maybe if you took responsibility for your own actions and fought them through, you would still have your house instead of sending you to run away on a whim. Don't blame me! Hey, Kylie! I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Uh, Vice Admiral, I don't have any room for guests. Why would you think Officer Migi would have room to house you and Natalie? And just because she's a hoban doesn't mean that she lives in a hole in the ground. She might live in a great big mother with butlers and maids in frilly outfits. Uh huh. The fact that she's a junior flight officer has absolutely nothing to do with my assumption. It's okay, Ka. <laughs> it's okay, Kylie. Sol will house us. I will. Ah, that's very generous of you, sir. About that. You wouldn't turn your childhood friend away in her hour of need, would you? I promise I'll be good as a house ghost. Yes, house guest. I mean... Even if I, for some inane reason, hated all of the lumps and wanted them smashed with a tail, it isn't possible. I only have a one-bedroom apartment and someone else already squatting on my sofa. Whoa, you have a roommate? He wanted a place to get away from his sister for a while and I wanted those shuttle upgrades done quickly. We came to an understanding and he comes to crash every couple of days. Uh, I think he, I know you, who you might be talking about. That's fine! I bet your apartment spells weird anyway! To a lizard, perhaps. Could you two please stop fighting? Sorry, not! I could call up Kika and see if she'd give you a room. Her and Faye's house isn't too far from here. Kika swore that she'd never live with me ever again if it wasn't a direct order! 
Which is understandable, I mean. It's you. Why don't you just rent a hotel room? I can't imagine a major and advice admiral would have a lot of trouble affording a place. How about that? Oh, this position is an unpaid one. An unpaid vice admiral. Seriously. Holy crap, you're dumb as fuck. It's, it's how she got around some of the rules preventing uh, her from appointing her eye without having to get approval. Ah. <sighs> And my finances still haven't recovered from my splurge during my... Drink your emotional meltdown, yeah, I remember. I guess we can just stay in the barracks. I hope the fleet grade officer quarters aren't too far from the deck great ones. Seriously? Yeah, we've only been together for a bit, but I don't want to lose her again even for a moment. Ah, that's bullshit. Dude. I mean, girl, do that. Come on. No. <sighs> I'd really like to hear you how you met back at my apartment. My nice two bedroom apartment where I live alone with my cat. Huh? Oh, Major, you could stay with your little sister. Younger, I think I'm taller than her. No, you are not. Listen, just because you, because you have one springy hair. Doesn't mean you are taller. You are shorter than her, actually, I think. My mouse cursor might not be going in a completely straight line, but I think yeah, you are shorter. If someone wants to actually check properly, go ahead. Sorry. I'm going to stay as well. No. What are you doing, name? What is wrong with you? As long as you respect the rules of my home and don't mind sharing a room with Natalie, you're welcome to say anyone who annoys Sol is always welcome to my home. What is wrong with you? She's not only annoying to Sol, she's annoying to everyone. Uh, thanks. Hey, about this. What's wrong? Isn't this a much better plan? That all depends. Have you learned to clean up after yourself? What does that mean? It just... you. you how do I explain, uh... You're a slob name. I keep pathways clean. I don't see why I need to keep my home spotless when nobody ever comes to visit it. Your definition of clean is one step short of consumed by mold. Wow. Do you really want to insult the person tasked with defending you from going to prison and trial? In the fun, Nat. You're always telling me how much you love your family. I know. Look, I promise to keep the place reasonable. Pages could use the company. Pages? My cat. Oh, a picture in a roly poly kitty. Is he cute? Absolutely adorable. I'll bring him with you one day so we can meet him. Yay! Do you promise not to try and clean up at all? Sorry, did I say not clean up? Clean up. At least bring your plates back to the sink once a week. Once a week? You mean every single day? Come on! Ah, oh, No wonder nobody dates her. <laughs> I have an idea! I can be your mate! Ugh. Hey. You're being kind enough to let me stay with you and not for George! It's the least I could do! I guess so. Natalie, make sure you know where the fire extinguisher is. When it's decided, we'll meet up at building 301, room 208, tomorrow at 9 o'clock sharp. Yes, ma'am. I'll let the others know. Good luck, Natalie. You will need it. This will be your toughest mission. Goodbye. First things first, the roots of my home. Don't touch my computer. It's because of your part in it? No, yes. Yes, yes it is. Rule number two, I don't care what you two do in your room, but I better not walk uh, into you to making out on my sofa. That's happened enough growing up on for one lifetime. Eh? He? Don't worry about that. Okay. Rule number three, that's Pudge's home as well, and he's been living in it far longer than you two have been. Respect that. I've never had a pet before. He's not a pet, he's a member of my family, and you'll respect that. But he's a cat! And you are a fucking lizard. 
So? Eh, he's a cat! Just don't treat him poorly if you want to continue staying in my home, got it? Uh, okay! Not your sister is just as weird as you are! Don't worry, she'll grow on you. I'm not some sort of mold, no matter what you seem to think my cleanliness habits are. So, where's your cat at? I don't have one. The planet is positive enough. I'm not going to contribute further to it. I'd like to keep living here. Thank you very much. Right, back home. Oh, no, not home. The air is so clear and fresh. It's so easy to fly around without all the muck in here dragging me down. Hey. You can see everything. I would float to the top of sand dunes and try to see how many little lizards I could spend before I had to land. What was your record? Not like I'm interested. Seven! I just pretty spent a ton gecko right before I hit the ground to forever set my record. Neat. But, uh, you said there was a sun, unless there was a sunstorm. Once I was trying to play, spot the lizard and wall just blew out of nowhere. I pretty much to find shelter in some rocks before it was on top of me. That sounds scary. It was my fourth most scary time out there. I was so sure I was going to be buried. Neat. Yeah, I agree with her. Neat. Would be neat. Hey, Nat, we forgot our bags. I'm going to go run uh, back and get them. Okay. Hey. Thanks. Neat. Name. What? Uh, I'm paying attention. Tell me, where is Zuri then? She's standing right next to... Uh, mm. That's three heading towards the spaceport. She must have had some sort of vice admiral business to care of back there. Name. Fine, I wasn't paying attention. Who would freaking listen to her come on she's so annoying you know I had to small talk as small talk as well and she's so annoying please try I'm really trying to make this work and I need your support I scold and shake my head I love you Natalie but you have such a terrible judgment comes to your love life understand this fascination you have in girls who are going to break your heart not to mention she's absolute garbage you don't even know her. Just take a little bit and try to bond with her. Zuri is an amazing woman and means the world to me. She's not! She's garbage! Natalie, I love you. You know that, right? Of course! She's tied to one of the most politically powerful figures in the universe and is involved in a case where I'm looking to misconduct. contact. Add in your bad judge of character and you'll understand why I'm hesitant. They were just good friends and something else is going on. I can feel it. So can I start tomorrow? I'm going to be working overtime, I feel. To protect me. To protect you all. If she's really this amazing woman, true, your true love, I'm sure it will come out in my investigation. If she's not, I get to rub it in your face, then my hunches were right again. Because they are. Don't look like that. Okay, I will bring the case into the apartment. I'll try to get to know her. For your sake, that's the most I can offer. Even if I'm absolutely not interested. Thank you. Okay. So, how far along in relationship are you? I mean, would you be asking to move in with her if she did have a home? We've known each other for four, five months. So practically ready to marry her. Yep. Uh, I think... What? After five months. What? Huh? Are you crazy? Yep, I figured she would at least meet you and mom and us before you get married next week. I wasn't joking. Hey! What's the longest relationship you ever had? Three weeks and they're always the one. They dress that you made a mistake or they decide to break it off and you end up falling to pieces. It hurts to watch. Isn't that why you've never had a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Her tone is playful but, even, but the venom behind the job is clear. While you might not be very selective, some of us have standards. Correct. I'll find a person for me one day. And I won't have had to go through the thousand broken hearts. Hmm. Technically kind of correct approach, but uh, eventually you kind of become too selective, sort of. Or you might be like me and don't develop feelings easily. <laughs> but when you do, you are like plummeting to the bottom. 
Anyway, those thousand cracks in my heart led me to a golden end. No, they led you to absolute garbage. You may agree, and she's not a god dragon. Yep, yeah, but doesn't sound as good. A green and just sounds like you found a field of grass. Ugh. My point is that I don't like seeing you get your heart broken. If she's involved with Director Deutsche, it's most certain she's going to end up crushing your heart like all the rest. So said the same thing about me rushing into relationships. Did you listen? No, but the good news is that we've already gone through the usual breakup part and we're stronger for it. Hey. Or just crave for getting back together, whatever. I promise I'd give her a chance, just please, please, please don't go past second base in my living room for Pudge's sake. Innocent little kitty. Something like that. I'm back! Sorry, your luggage rolls kept jamming up! Lead the way, name. She grabs onto Zuri's free hand, never breaking eye contact with him. Maybe she's trying to prove she's right, and maybe she is, but I honestly don't care. However this plays out, I just don't want this Ramon coming between us during our first time together in years. There is already too much happening, threatening Theras apart already. Already, already? <laughs> Whoops. Dude, I hate Zuri so much. <laughs> like, I, you know, I don't, I didn't play the game for a long time, that's true. Like, the last one we played was... A fair amount of time ago. Triggered the game, Zuri arrives. Oh my god, I immediately the hatred burns inside of me. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but I, I can't send her. Home sweet home, aren't you happy? <coughs> A loud poof radiates out as they collapse onto the luxury sofa I had just bought right before the numerous set off on its most recent expedition. Nice house. I mean, apartment. Old school TV as well, dude, let's go. That's where it's at, yeah. It's too soft for me, but fake collapsing on the last one on a daily basis shaped my purchasing decision on this one. She's going to end up breaking her nose on the last one. I think I'm better with like super soft as well. On the other hand, I'm also capable of falling asleep on the floor, so maybe I'm not. Maybe it just doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so says that we don't have to go into the office while we are doing the investigation, but I think we should go into the office a couple of times. Considering how often you lock the door and sleep under your desk, I doubt any of the other science officers remember who you already are already. You are never going to get promoted. It's already unacceptable that I can't get a better position or increase the rank of the numerous na navigator position. I refuse to let your car get stalled as well. What do you say? We'll take tomorrow off to rest up and then go into work on whatever day of the week it is. Friday, I think. I literally just put my bags down. There is no way you passed out already. I poke my head over the back of the blue fizzy couch and only see a pile of blankets where a minion should be. At least she's impressive in how fast she can make her little blanket fort. Faye! At least let me get my plans out before going to bed. These plans are for your sake as well. Uh... Fine. Take an hour nap now and then we'll go out and buy some steaks as the celebration and dinner. We'll talk about it then. I don't get a response, but her tail flicks out of the pile of thick blankets. Wagging back and forth, I knew that would get her attention. I'm going up to my room to unpack. Try not to hibernate too hard. Night, night. I grab my luggage and drag it down the hall towards my room. Sol wonders why I don't use my family's phones to buy a massive mansion of my own to live in. But then I have to drag my stuff down more halls. And the cleaning. It's already a pain keeping things clean when Blade was around to help. A heroine needs to be focused on saving the world, not spending hours each week dusting. I agree. Ooh, I like this room as well. And saving the world is something I need to do right now. My dad face is going to wake up and bother me, but Sol could drop by and I don't want to risk any unwanted visitors while I'm doing this. 
If the investigators or Natalie found out I saw a piece of that crystal I monster that Nani killed and was still in possession of dead high priestesses, book questions could be asked. <gasps> what? Questions I don't have the answers to right now. Questions that are haunting my sleep like death haunts Faye. I dump my bags out, letting the contents spill out. Uniforms, clothes, books, trivial times that items that are needed to live a plebeian life. I toss them aside as I search for my hidden treasure. Soon enough I find the old stained sock where I hid my treasure. I hope the stain hasn't entered it, but I had to be sure I had I hid it in a sock I would never wear on accident. Reaching to my most hidden of secret places, I pull out the thin glimmer black blue crystal fragment. Even now, separated from the beast for two weeks, it shimmers with life. It's a nice room, but maybe there is too much stuff going on, like the couch kinda not needed. Whatever. This stupid crystal was such a risk to acquire. First I had to sneak past all those frenzied freakons to follow Tsuri, then I had to check the area where Natalie blew it up, and then I had to sneak back to the shuttle before I got left behind. The duties of a heroine, I suppose. If I wouldn't have gone out of my way and risked my precious state to steal that priestess book and monster fragment, we'd have no tangible evidence. Natalie Pusil might be a Saito, but she's definitely a rookie at all of this. Focusing on the saving the day while neglecting why they needed to be saved in the first place. The little loyal kitten in my heart is meowing at me that I've overstepped my bounds that this isn't my responsibility. If I don't catch the wind that I am conducting my own under table investigation at a time when judicial officials are looking for loot breakers, at the very least I'll be regarded with suspicion at my motives. At worst I'll be labeled a traitor for concealing evidence and hunted by Natalie and the government and those that seek to destroy our world. But the true heroine doesn't shrink from danger. I can feel the winds of doom ruffling the foes on my ears. They attacked face, heart and mind and there is no forgiveness for criminals like that. Even if that means I have to make enemies of the entire universe. Even if I have to stand alone and to do it. Even I have to turn my back on my family, on my home, on the force I pledged allegiance. I had this book locked up since I was a little girl. The stories it told, the beasts and spirits from beyond the veil that haunted me. My family told me I needed to learn it all if I was to prepare for the day when it all changed. Today is the day. Today is the day that the universe learns that it can't attack, kick us stars minions and get away with it like it's nothing. I'm going to learn what skulks in the night and I'm going to punish it. I'll destroy them all. Retribution is a little one. Who said that? I dart over to the door, trying to open it and failing. It's still secure. Nobody's in my room that I can see. There were no signs in the security locks or forced entries by someone installing sec secret cameras and microphones. My first step towards a hidden adventure. I've already busted. That's not fair. The voice was faint. They're probably hiding us in their house. I'm going to have to find them and stop them from spreading whatever secrets they stole from my mind. I toss my present my hero heirloom book on spirits. And there they discard a pile of clothes. Time to go catch a spy. Where are you little? Oh, you're awake. I couldn't sleep, so I decided to catch up on the true grid. You were right that the season 3 looks really interesting. True grid. I don't know what this might be referring to. Oh ho 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 ho! Yeah, true grid! Is something wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised that you listened to my advice and decided to continue watching it. Let's move. You don't have a guilty soul tainted by an undercover investigation to mind warping spirits of the dark. It's going to take at least two weeks before that happens to the holy warrior of justice, Kika Star. My dream keeps coming back to my mind. But if I keep trying new things that make my new friends happy, maybe it won't happen. Faye, you know that's not how it works, right? Maybe, but if it makes you happy, then it isn't a bad idea to try, is it? I appreciate you thinking of my feelings, but uh, if your time does get cut short, wouldn't you rather be watching things that make you happy instead? Kika, you are my best friend in the world. Seeing you happy makes me happy too. <gasps> 
Besides, I like this show. Look at Macman's hound dog. Isn't it just the most adorable thing in the world? Her overwhelming enthusiasm at the minor character's pet almost causes me to fall over in laughter. Faye, you are the most adorable thing in the world. Can we get a hound dog? Now it isn't so cute or funny. I told you, Faye. We can't take care of it when we are out on assignment and Vanimeros already has one freeloading mouth on it. Are you talking about my new sister? She's not your sister, Faye. If what you told me is true, she's a criminal who's just using you and Natalie to get a free ride from her twisted ways. And unless I find out how to delay the investigations, you both are going to pay for that wrong decision. I know, but... Family first, right? That's why I have to protect you, Faye. Without mom or dad left in this world, protect my remaining minions like family is all I can do. Are you okay? Of course I am. It's just that your face is bright red. Is it the pollen in the air again? Of course it is. I just got home after being stuck on a spaceship with canned air. It's a natural reaction and doesn't have anything to do with the confessing about how important your well-being is to me. Hehehe. <laughs> of course not. You were so much cuter when you were just an academy pup and didn't pick up on this. I'm not a pup. At least some things never change. Retribution. The hero in True Grit ends up sacrificing everything in the world to avenge the girl that meant everything to them. A dark path. Certainly not one for a heroine like me. But seeing Faye standing before me checks poofed tile wagging in such a captivating way. I can't help but understand why he'd do it. Why they'd consider a road clothed in shadows. Sometimes even the Paladin of Justice needs to step in the pits of the Warlock to get the strength to save the world. My past, no, the world's past, I need to harness it. Are you sure you're okay? I'm good. Sit down. Let's watch it together. If I start watching, I won't stop. I'm going to get a breath fresher and something to make dinner. Can I come with? If you promise that you won't pass out on the way, I'm not wheeling you back to my car in a cart. But that was fun, you, get, you got me half priced. <laughs> Whatever, just hurry up and go change. The faster we get there, the faster we can get back to dinner. That got her moving. Better go get changed myself and properly hide my tomes and that crystal. Yeah, this is what's about. That interaction is so nice. Then we get Zuri and I'm like, ugh. Oh, new clothes. Oh, wrong button. I don't know, I constantly click G instead of H. Nice, nice. What are we buying today, guys? FYI, I can't afford much. For... So it may be more expensive than going to the standard economic sector grocer or the copiary on base. I always go to Lucinante Traders Emporium by the spaceport. A little price here, but in all of my travels I've never seen a place with such a selection. Taking Faye here is always a dangerous expedition. If I have anything else to do that day, even if we just limit ourselves to the food merchants, there is more options than she can wrap her head around. Today is no exception. Look, Kika! Sonako Flakes steaks are 20% off! We should get a dose in! Okay. Sonako Flags. <laughs> They're as big as your hands. You'd be lucky to eat one of them. 11 is just like one. I'll be fine. How many times do you think you can use that re reasoning on me and expect it to keep working? Last time we managed to get through three of them before they went bad. Ah, uh, four. You ate uh, one as well. Yeah. No, I ate half of one and then ate the other half for lunch the next day. I'm not a pig, wolf. That's why you're so small. Faye darts back and forth between the fresh meat stalls. Her ears are packed. Tile wagging firstly in excitement. If I don't do something, our cart is going to be flowing in a cascade of meat. Mm. 
The Rowing Mountain of Chicken. Yes! Beef, fish, in ice, rabbit. Never had a rabbit, so I don't know. And a bunch of animals that I don't recognize. I doubt that would stop Faith from trying to make something out of them. I still care about being reasonable with her, what we get, but I can't bring myself to stop her. We'll just invite the rest of the crew over for a cookout, so we don't end up throwing out so much food. Look, look, we got that extra crispy turkey bacon you love so. Uh, <coughs> oh, hey, are you okay? Yeah. Uh huh. How about we sit down for a little bit? I've heard it's good for your legs to take regular breaks. I'm okay, Aru. It's for my sake. Come on, take my hand. Realizing that I'm not going to be swayed when it comes to her health. Her ears drop and she nods. The quadruple stock burger is going to have to wait for a bit. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Slumped over the bench, coughing Faye looks so minuscule. Seeing her so defeated and crushed just makes me so angry. Faye, there is nothing for you to, to be sorry about. Okay. I should have just stayed home and let you do the shopping. I don't think running around would wipe me out so easily. It's okay. You just need to let yourself not get so excited about and spun up. I thought resting was one of your favorite hobbies. I don't want to rest. I was... I was? I want to explore and be happy and see new fizzy animals and... And... There is so much I want to see and feel still. So many places and cuddly things to enjoy while I take naps. But all I can do is just think about how the end is getting closer and I keep just dragging you down. You're not dragging me down. You sleeping on the island in the kitchen is dragging me down. Let you rest your heart is just something we have to deal with. Just deal with? I'm feeling a little better, Kika. Why don't you go ahead and finish up the shopping? I'll be fine on my own. Uh-huh. Sure. No way in hell, Faye. Really? I'd do a little better being off on my off my feet. Faye, I want you to understand this. Zuri is a better liar than you. Zuri, the one who is so transparent she might as well be thin glass could fool me better than you can. You're not dragging me down. You're not feeling better. And then you sit here in your own motion stewing is literally the worst thing I could do. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye I can see the tip of her tail twitching back and forth in anxiety. She really believes she's holding back. Minion health and welfare is the most important thing. You don't become the most famous character in the universe by letting the people under you suffer. I'm not just go- Fuck, I didn't mean to click, sorry. I'm not just going to ditch fate, like the last season's wardrobe because we need to rest. But me just sitting here is causing distress. Faye is more concerned about me than she is herself. I need to get her mind off of this darkness surrounding her and the only way I know is... How is the food court? A double stack chicken burger would be more than enough to stop her out of this funk. Especially if they remember to put that grandma's mustard sauce on it. The problem is she needs a briefer and that means leaving her behind. If I leave her behind in the darkness, what sort of kitsune would I be if I stay here for? She's going to keep her mind focused on how she's holding me. Stay and make her think she's holding me back or go and hope nothing bad happens to her on her mind while I'm gone. Damn it, why did she have to get hurt? Oh, fuck. Let's go with... First one? Yeah, no way I can just leave her alone right now. A real heroine wouldn't just leave a distressed minion on the verge of crying for a pointless gamble. This isn't something food can cure. So, what are we going to do this weekend, Faye? It's our first weekend back after a long mission. Why don't we go out on another binge of restaurant hopping along the east coast? Hey? I'll even let you drive this time, what do you say? I'd like to stay here. We can't stay here all night, they close in a couple of hours. I mean it, Kika. I'd like to stay here this weekend. I'm not going to let you shut yourself away. This might be our last chance to do something like this before your surgery. Who knows how long it will take for you to recover. Which you will. Don't give me that look. Kika, I'm serious. I think we should stay here and... Can't you feel it? 
that's the air conditioner, my tail is freezing too. Faye scoots over until she's pressed up against me and her tail is lying on mine, but chill running through my body is replaced by a burning flame. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, all better, very warm. <laughs> That's good, you look very toasty now. This really is it. The life, it sure is. Kika, do you remember the crystal thing on the junk ward? How it burrowed itself into my mind and turned my dad into thinking he was some sort of wolf god? How could I forget the only lab crystals? Natalie blew it off its wings and made it plummet off a cliff, so we can't even study it. I can feel it. What? Burst, no way! That voice. No, it was dead. It was the dead shot of the monster. There is no way that he has any power left. I ran tests on it while Natalie left her lap open. I'm positive there is nothing living about it anymore. I thought so as well, but I realized when seeing you blush and smile that it was waving down me the same way it did it on that world. Are you sure just it, it, it wasn't just regular old depression? You've got a lot of going on in her life and it wouldn't be strange to have your thoughts darkened. Maybe. It does feel different than before. More like when we arrived on the forest world where the researchers went missing. The original crystal. We never did find out where that crystal came from, but why can't I feel it? You didn't feel the other two as well, right? Maybe there's something special about your family line. The great heroine Kika Star might be immune. Of course, nobody can influence my mind. But the most worrying question of all is why is nobody else feeling it or reacting? Maybe they're, they are accustomed to it? Or maybe there's something more sinister going on. You're right, we need to stay here this weekend and do some hardcore investigating, Faye. Then we'll go on our epic food tasting quest. Mmm. Hey, is that Mana? Mana? Our Space Vector Academy squad mate, Mana? It is Mana over here! Mana should stick out, even being barely taller than me with her wings and elegant outfits that are so different from the simple outfits most of the traders around here wear. I mean, my style is a thousand times above everyone here and I radiate majesty. <laughs> but I don't see her anywhere. Maybe I should get glasses like the doctors recommended. Uh... Where'd she go? She was just there. It was probably just a reflection of light. I guess so. Think you're feeling well enough to finish up our shopping trip? Those steaks aren't going to cook themselves. Uh huh. I grab her hand and lead her towards where the delicious food awaits. With that being said, the girls are going on a journey for the food. Here we probably will. We definitely are in Name's apartment, but we'll see what's going to happen over here. Also, looks like a nice, nice apartment, actually, by the way. We're going, we are going to see what's happening over here in the next episode. So, for now, hope you enjoyed. In the next episode of Expect Me Being uh, Annoyed, because Zuri is around still, unfortunately. <laughs> still, maybe you enjoy this kind of thing. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, that's it. Enjoy the video? Consider liking it, as per usual. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's always very much appreciated. Subscribe if you also hate Zuri. Subscribe if you ha don't hate her as well. Hey, it's one character. It can happen to anyone, okay? I don't hate on that many characters. But some of them are just are just there. In that department, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. All, all that is on my mind right now is food. So, what did you have for dinner today? Tell me that. <laughs> ah, also, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. In description. If you're into that stuff, follow me there. Uh, you know, it's always nice to have more people around. And that's it. I wish you all a wonderful day. And again, hope to see you tomorrow as well. Bye bye.